everyone it's me jess and welcome back to our channel i hope you guys are all having a great day today is the start of another video and today i'm off to ryan's house to go and see amelia because i've heard all about what's going on and i'm really worried about it also i hope you enjoy this video if you do please leave a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and without further ado let's get into it jess i thought ryan would be going to see amy today aren't you taking her with you Actually, I'm just going to visit Amelia on her own, Luke, because I need to talk to her about a few things that are going on. I'm so worried about her being in that household right now because it's all kicking off between Ryan and Josh. Do you think Josh is going to leave Ryan? To be honest, Luke, I'm not sure, but I'm just worried about it. Ryan seems in a really bad place. I think he needs to talk to someone professionally, you know, like a therapist. I know I've been telling him that, but he won't listen. So I think it'd be best if I don't take Amy around there today. Anyway, she's downstairs with Madison. She's having a great time with her friend. Yeah, Madison had a sleepover last night, didn't she? Yeah, I hope the baby didn't keep her awake too much. I don't think so. I think the girls had a lovely time. Have you been a good girl, Alice? She certainly has. Let me take her and I'll get her some breakfast. You go be with Amelia. Thanks, Luke. Let's take you downstairs. And do you think Amelia's going to move back in, Jess? It's fine by me as long as everything's okay between her and Alice. Be great if the girls could finally meet. I think it would be best for her to move back in, to be honest, Luke, but I can't see her agreeing to it or Ryan, and I don't want to make things worse. But I'm definitely going to talk to her on a one-to-one -one level and find out how she's feeling, because this must be having a bad impact on her, and I'm worried. That's understandable. I'll see you when you get back. Hi guys, so I had a sleepover last night and Amy's been chilling in our room. This is my best friend Nikki, by the way. Hi everyone. And here's Amy. Hi, Madison, do you think I'm going to see Daddy today? I don't think so. I think your mum's going to visit Amelia alone just because I think things have been going on. I'm not too sure, to be honest. You'll have to, have to ask her, but I don't think you're going anywhere. Anyway, we've had a great time here for the sleepover. Yeah, I've had a great time. I just wish Amelia would like to come back too. She could join in, couldn't she? Yeah, of course. Amelia would always be welcome. Oh, great. My mum's here. Hi, Josh. Hi, Jess. Thanks for coming. No, you're welcome. I needed to see Amelia today anyway. I feel like I've not seen her for so long. How have things been? To be honest, not that great. Ryan's barely got off the sofa in days. The only time he did get off the sofa was when Maria came and he started begging her not to have a new boyfriend and told her that she couldn't have one until he's over her. But that's ridiculous. Everyone's got a right to move on and even he's moved on with you. That's what I kept saying. He doesn't seem to acknowledge that. So how have you been coping? This must be really tough on you as well. It has been, and there's been times when I've been thinking of leaving, but I can't do it to him, not why he's so low. He definitely needs help, doesn't he? Yeah, professionally. So has he not got off the sofa at all? Not really. Is it okay if I come in so that I can see Amelia? Yeah, of course. Amelia! Daddy, Mummy's here. She's probably come to take you out, Princess. It's your scheduled day to go with her. I know, but I don't want to leave you. You're really sad and it's all because of Maria. You have to go with Mummy and still see her. But I want to stay with you. I know you do, but I think it's best that you go and spend time with Mummy as planned. I need to talk some things through with Josh. Mm. Hi, Amelia. How are you? Fine. I've come to take you out. I thought we could go and get Starbucks. I don't want to leave Daddy. I'd rather stay with him. He's in a really bad place, all because of stupid Maria. Amelia, what did I just say? You have to go with Mummy. But I don't want to. I'd rather be with you. That's not an option. It's only for a few hours. Fine. Ryan, you really don't look in a good way. Have you thought about talking your feelings through with someone professional? I'm really worried about you. I'm just upset. I'm dealing with a lot right now, Jess. But Amelia's here and she's going with you. Not for long, though. Okay, Ryan, I just wanted to make sure you was okay. Well, I'm clearly not, am I? Thanks for that, Josh. He was a bit hostile, but I understand he's going through a lot. Maybe I could talk to Amelia and see if she'll come and stay with me 
for a few nights. Then you can talk things through properly with Ryan. That would be helpful, Jess, but I doubt she'll agree. All I can do is try. I'm really, really worried about how this is affecting her. Of course you are, and that's understandable. I need to arrange for some support for Ryan, I think. Okay. Come on then, Amelia, let's go to Starbucks. I'm coming. Ryan, Jess has just been talking to me. We think it might be good for Amelia to go and stay with her for a few days. Amelia doesn't like it at Jess's because that baby she's had, remember? I know, but Jess is going to talk to her about it. It might be for the best so we can sort this out. I guess it's up to Amelia, but I don't want her upset. Okay, so we're now at the Starbucks cafe and I've got a coffee and Amelia's got a milkshake and some cookies. And we're going to have a little chat, aren't we? Yeah, I don't want to be too long though. That's fine, we can just talk for a little while. So how have things been for you? I feel like we've not had some one-to-one -one time for a long time. Things have been fine. I'm going to school and I'm being a good girl. And what about at home? I know things have been difficult with Daddy. Yeah, he's been really upset and it's all Maria's fault. She's a horrible woman. She has no right to get a boyfriend and upset Daddy when he's still not over her. The thing is, Amelia, she has every right to get a new boyfriend. Everyone has the right to move on when a relationship ends. I mean, look, me and Daddy split up. I've got Luke and Daddy's had Maria and Josh since then. Once a relationship's over, everyone has the right to a new one. But it's making him sad and I'm worried. He's been sitting on the sofa crying all because of her. She's horrid and it's upsetting seeing him like that. So I don't think she's got a right to move on because it upsets him. But sadly, that's not how the world works. Just because it upsets Ryan doesn't mean Maria doesn't have the right for it to happen. Your dad just needs to find ways to cope with it. And maybe it would be a bit easier for him to do that if he didn't still have a lot of feelings for her. But that's not Maria's fault. You're mean. You shouldn't stick up for her. It's not nice. You should have thought of daddy's needs. She's getting a new boyfriend and bragging and it's upsetting him. And I don't like it. Don't say that, Amelia. I'm not mean. I just think everyone has a right to move on. And it's not Daddy or Maria that I'm concerned about in all of this. It's you and you being around all of those arguments. It must be really hard because I know how you felt last time when I was arguing with Daddy a lot back in the day. And it really worries me that you're around that all of the time. And I was wondering if it might be better if you come and stayed with me for a while, just until things calm down a little bit and to give Daddy and Josh some time to think. I don't want to stay with you because Alice is there. Yeah, Alice is there, but you've got to meet her eventually. And I just think that it might be best for you to be somewhere where there's a lot less arguments and things going on. Daddy wouldn't agree to that because he knows I don't want to live with you. But at the same time, Amelia, it's not going to be permanent. I just think for a couple of days while Josh and Daddy sort things out. Josh hasn't been very nice to Daddy either. And I'm the only support that he's got. It's not your job to support daddy. You're eight years old. It's your support to be happy and focus on school and everything. And I just think maybe for a few days until things calm down a bit, coming to be with me might be better. What do you think? I can keep Alice away from you if that's what you're worried about. And wouldn't it be nice to see Amy? She's missing you terribly and I couldn't bring her today because I needed to discuss this with you. Yeah, it would be nice to see Amy. I do miss her a lot. But at the same time, I don't want to leave my dad while he's like this. I'm worried. But you can bring your phone and you can talk to him that way. He did buy you that phone for a reason. I think that was communication. Okay, mum, but only for a few days and then I'm coming back. That's fine. Hi, Ryan. I've just been talking to Amelia at the cafe and we've agreed that it may be best if she comes on stage with me for a few days. She's 100% on board with it, aren't you, Amelia? Mum says I need to give you and Josh time to talk. And the only way that that can happen is if I'm not here around the arguments, Daddy. But I'm only going for a few days and then I'm coming back. Are you sure you're okay with that, Princess? What about Alice? You don't like her. But she's not going to be near my face too much. And... I, they're going to keep her away. Okay, baby. I'm going to miss you so much, though, Daddy. And I'm phoning you all the time. It's okay. I love you so much, Amelia. I love you too. I know you've been relying on her a little bit for support, Ryan. But she's eight years old and 
I think being with me just for a few days will give you and Josh time to talk it all through. I agree, Jess. Thanks so much for being so understanding, Amelia. I'm doing this for you, Daddy, not for Mum. I know. And Amy's going to be super excited to see you. Give Amy my love, Jess, won't you? Of course I will, Ryan. Come on, Amelia, let's help you get a bag packed.